Today we are seeing thousands more dead fish washing ashore in Brevard County killed by red tide. We're told the fish can be found four miles in Melbourne Beach killed by toxic algae in the water that started in the Gulf Coast and has since spread to Central Florida. This is video from last week's fish kill in Cocoa Beach where thousands of fish lined the beach. Officials put up more signs warning beachgoers about the threat of red tide. News 6's James Barvero has the story. This afternoon, the ambience of South Brevard County beaches is not relaxed. It's not joyful. It's not the beaches locals and tourists expect. It's sad. Deserted for several miles, except for cleanup crews and thousands of dead fish. I knew something was wrong when I pulled up and saw the empty parking lot on a beautiful day like today. From Satellite Beach to Melbourne Beach, nonprofit Keep Brevard Beautiful tells us this is even larger than last Friday's fish kill on Cocoa Beach. That fish kill extended two miles. Calling for any volunteers who would like to come out and join us. And remarkably, Deputy Executive Director Brian Bobbitt tells us volunteers are hoping to clean all of this in just 24 hours. That's what it took to clean thousands of fish from near Lori Wilson Park. But this fish kill extends perhaps a dozen miles longer. Just hope that uh, we can get rid of the uh, fish without losing too much uh, opportunity to be on the beach. Keep Brevard Beautiful is joined in cleanup efforts by the Indian Atlantic Public Works Department. Most of the dead fish are mullet. In Brevard County, we have not seen larger marine life wash ashore. The county tells us it's testing for red tide in the ocean and the Indian River Lagoon every week. When the latest results are in from the FWC, we'll share those with you. In Indian Atlantic, I'm James Sparvero, News 6. We have continuing coverage of Florida's dirty water with an entire section of our website dedicated to investigating the state's most sacred resource. We have in-depth stories about blue-green algae, red tide, and traces of cancer-causing chemicals in groundwater. Just head to clickorlando.com water.